guys, welcome back. Hello from beautiful Vienna. We just checked into hotel the guest house directly in the city center. And yeah, we're going to spend one night here. And of course, I will take you with us. to get breakfast and yeah then the plan is to head into the city again we are on a mission to find a fresh pair of air Force for my boyfriend which is apparently not that easy as we expected because we already tried yesterday and when my boyfriend asked one of the sales guys in the shop he literally laughs at him like why do you even ask for air Force? it seems that they have been sold out for quite a while now here in vienna and yeah, the funny thing is I got myself a new pair just some days ago in my hometown and they had every size in stock, but here it seems to be impossible to find them. So yeah, fingers crossed we will continue the hunt today and maybe we will be lucky. If not, we will have a look again in my hometown. Hope it's not too late yet. Besides that, we were already successful yesterday. So we went to the Dior store where I didn't buy anything. But then we also went to the Louis Vuitton store where I got a little something and also to YSL where I got myself a new bag in a beautiful autumn color. So stay tuned, there will definitely come an unboxing video on that. Today we will probably have a look at the Gucci store because I'm looking for a new pair of either the Prince Town or the Jordan loafers, also in fall color. So I'm looking for beige tones. Let's see what we will find. Then we also plan to visit the new Aesop store, which just opened um, a few weeks ago. So we'll also check out that. I uh, think the store is really pretty. I've seen some pictures already. So yeah, that's the plan for today. And of course, I will try to catch as much footage as possible for you to show you the beautiful city. And yeah, take it with us. However, I did find one last pair of Prince Town slippers in a beautiful beige tone in a big department store, but unfortunately they were not my size. They were a little bit too small, so I couldn't get them. Yeah, so I will keep looking for a pair of Brixton's, which is actually the style I prefer uh, in any neutral tone. And yeah, let's see, maybe they will become available in the spring collection again. We will just stay patient and keep our fingers crossed. I currently do own a pair of black Jordan loafers, but unfortunately for me they are super uncomfortable, so I've only worn them once and then never touched them again, which is such a pity. 
but yeah they're quite stiff and I think they're also a little bit too small for me unfortunately. I'll probably sell these on this here or on my Instagram plus at Sailor Khan. Be sure to check it out if you didn't do it yet because there are also two designer bags currently available for sale there. Yeah if you're interested or also if you know that the Jordan style is something that works for you maybe you're interested uh, if you have the size that I'm sewing just let me know. So yeah, back to the Gucci's, I also noticed that there has been a price increase in those because the two Prince Downs I own I definitely got for a lot less but yeah, that's already a few years ago. Anyways, no. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we accomplished our mission to find new Air Force for my boyfriend at JD Sports where I also found two new balance sneakers for me in very nice colorways, which I will show you now. So these are the 327s in this beautiful light beige white mesh combo. And then I also got the same pair in this darker beige suede grey combo. And yeah, I obviously couldn't decide so I had to get them both, I think. They are quite different, although they have similar tones. So this one here definitely appears a little lighter than this one. This one is more on the gray side. And yeah, this one is more on the lighter beige side. And they also have different rubber. So these ones have the black details and these ones have the more yellow toned beige rubber. And yeah, that's also the same on the sole. I like them both, especially because they have different materials. This one is a set all over mesh with just a few little suede details and this one is um, suede and yeah, a grey textile. Can't wait to wear them and style them. These are my favorite style of New Balance at the moment and I know that they are quite hyped and trendy um, shoe but yeah, I think I will also enjoy them a little longer and I hope the trend stays open for a little longer. But yeah, they're also super comfortable, so I can only recommend to get one of these. These ones I've actually never seen before. I've looked them up online, but I didn't find them anywhere, not even on the JD Sports website. So I don't know if this is a new model that was just released, or yeah, if this is an old one, which I was just lucky to find. Uh, if I find them somewhere online, I will ensure to link them in the description of this video. But I think it's a very unique style, and I said I've never seen them before. And I really like the combo of grey and beige. I think it's a very elegant version of this shoe. Then I got two little accessory pieces from Isabelle Moron. So first I got this black belt here, which is perfect to put over dresses, oversized knits or blazers. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, but this model is called Lecce. You've probably seen the belt already many times. I think it's an iconic piece from Isabelle Moron and it's so versatile and styling. So it will definitely become a key piece in my future looks and I can't wait to wear it. And then we have this beautiful silver sparkling crystal waterfall earrings that I've been eyeing for almost a year, but I've never pulled the trigger. So when I saw they're on sale for 50% off. I couldn't resist any longer. The model is called Freak Out in case you're interested as well. But I will try to find all the links to everything shown in this video so you can also shop any pieces that you like. I got this beautiful striped wool knit from Kos. I will show you how it looks like when I wear it. So the knit comes in a beautiful combo of black and cream. And what I really liked is the little black detail on the bottom. Yeah, and what I love course for is the quality of the materials. I always try to find knits that are not including any plastic or any artificial materials. So this one is made out of wool and cotton, so it is 100% natural materials, which is so much more cozy to wear and also doesn't frizz your hair which is the most annoying thing when it comes to knits in my opinion. Yeah, and then I also restocked my all-time favorite hair mask from Aesop, which is the Rose Hands Scalp Moisturizing Mask. By the way, the new store located in Neubaugasse is definitely worth a visit. It's so beautiful. At Le Papa, which is a small boutique with a curated collection of niche brands, I got this year's Tip Deek Christmas Edition candle called Biscuit, which smells heavenly. It's one of the best scents so far, in my opinion. It smells like freshly baked speculatius cookies. So, so good. Also, the design is super pretty with the golden details and the dark red accents. Very Christmassy. And yeah, the Christmas Edition candle also comes with this golden lid, which looks super fancy. So, yeah, it's perfect for decorating your home 
a little more Christmassy and I think it's also a very nice Christmas gift. And I also stocked up on my favorite soap from Barito, which is Suede. And yeah, I'm still waiting for a perfume to launch with that smell, which is currently not available because it's incredibly good. Then I also got a little something from Louis Vuitton, which I'm currently waiting to be shipped to my home because it was not available in store. So I only got one part of it in this bag, which I will show you once the other part arrives so that it all makes sense. It arrives until I start editing this video, of course, I will include it. So yeah, I've been searching for this piece for more than a year and it's still not available online but the essay was somehow able to order it so yeah, can't wait for it to arrive. Yeah, last but not least, the biggest purchase. I got myself a new YSL bag and if you're watching my Instagram stories, you've probably already seen the two bags I was considering. But I will definitely film an own unboxing video for the bag with us, so stay tuned if you're curious to see which one I got. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this Vienna vlog. And yeah, as you might know, I just recently started this YouTube channel, so I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing and also giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Alright, see you in my next video. Video. Bye!